Fortnite Update 23.10 Patch Notes, Server Downtime, Winterfest, My Hero Academia, Die Hard. Fortnite developer Epic Games is about to take the game offline for the release of Update 23.10 on PC, consoles and smartphones. Fortnite fans are counting down to the release of Update 23.10 on PS5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X/S, Xbox One, PC, Nintendo Switch and Android. The first major Fortnite update of the season has a December 13th release date and a 9am Greenwich Mean Time UK launch time. Needless to say, as a major update, it will launch alongside a period of extended server maintenance, which begins at 8.30am and runs until around 11am Greenwich Mean Time. The news was announced by Epic Games on Twitter, alongside a preview about what to expect. What's that under the tree? It's update 23.10, reads an epic tweet. Unwrap it tomorrow with downtime beginning at 4 a.m. Eastern Time and matchmaking being disabled shortly beforehand. As you can tell from the tweet, the latest update will lay the foundation for the festive Winterfest event. The Winterfest event typically introduces new challenges, Christmas items, in-game decorations, limited time game modes, and festive skins. Outside of Winterfest, Epic is getting ready to bring the My Hero Academia crossover to Fortnite on December 16. The new My Hero Academia skins and items will be leaked following the update. Speaking of crossovers, Fortnite insider Hypex believes we may finally see Die Hard skins and items in the game. Check out the tweet below. Furthermore, Epic Games will make a host of bug fixes and gameplay tweaks. You can see the early patch notes below. Fortnite Update 23.10 Patch Notes General Fixes Players are getting a blue lobby background. Changing the language to another language and back again, or relaunching Fortnite, or simply playing a match and returning to the lobby should update the lobby background. Battle Royale Fixes Overshield damage numbers appear white. We're aware of an issue where damage numbers appear as white health instead of blue shield when hitting a player's overshield with a DMR, sniper, or explosives. This is a visual issue only, the damage is applied appropriately. Controller inputs don't work on PC when spectating. When joining a party that is already in a match and spectating them, PC players using a controller may find the controller buttons are unresponsive. Shockwave hammers don't deal damage to your own player built structures. When damaging your own builds with the shockwave hammer, you will not be able to destroy them. Fixed in version 23.10. Save the world fixes. Text is missing from some user interface menus. We're aware of an issue that is causing text to be missing from some user interface menus in STW. Mobile and cloud fixes. Scrolling through the battle pass. Players cannot scroll through the battle pass by swiping and must use the arrows to scroll through.